I recently uh, moved out of this apartment, okay? And before moving, I had to clean it. <laughs> you know, to try to get the deposit back. And I did such a good job, I wanted to move in again. <laughs> So why should someone else enjoy this? <laughs> Three days I scrubbed. I was shocked at my work. I looked around at my apartment and I was like, hey, this is the place I was looking for. <laughs> mm. Recently, uh, I was thinking about getting fit, but not regular fit. Everyone can be regular fit. I want to look like, like you've seen those guys like this. V-shape, upper body of an ox, <laughs> lower body of a sparrow. I already have the lower body, I just needed to work on the upper body. They look like they drink protein shakes all day but the belt is too tight, it's not going below this. That's the look I wanted, I want to look like a, like a walking triangle. So people point at me in a crowd like, oh this guy, he's in shape. Huh? It's a very specific shape. <laughs> Triangle. They pull out their protractors and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> their shadows look like a giant nacho with a head on it. <laughs> That's the look, man. That's the look. That was my dream look. See, I want to look like this because I thought, I thought I could make money by posting inspiring quotes <laughs> on Instagram. You can do it, but you have to pair the quote apparently with the right body. <laughs> Otherwise they don't follow you, man. <laughs> to get them to the quote, you have to show the body first. And with this body, if I post like a shirtless photo saying something like, believe in yourself. <laughs> People will be like, why do you believe in yourself? <laughs> Huh? You should be seeking inspiration, not giving. You don't want I shape, you want V. <coughs> Recently I went out to buy underwear, you guys do that sometimes? <laughs> Once in four years. That's when I go. After the World Cup. <laughs> I won't tell you which World Cup. <laughs> I keep underwear shopping very simple. I went to the store. I saw there was underwear, I looked at it. It was brown color, I was like, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, okay. No, don't act like you don't do it. So I looked at it, all that, I said, brown color. I gave it to the shop, he said, give me four, like this. This guy took it from me. Then he looked at me up and down for 30 seconds. And he said, okay, sir, but why brown? Take it in ocean blue. <laughs> when did I sign up for this premium service? <laughs> like you're undressing me with your eyes. Like, are you doing this for all customers? Huh? Another man walked into the store. I'm like, do it for him. Do it. And this guy was like, lime green. <laughs> And I looked and I was like, no, lime green, yeah. <laughs> That's not the point. That's not the point. The point is I don't mind a suggestion. They just have to come quick. Like, how about this? This guy didn't do that. Dude, he pictured me. His eyes had zoned out. I had to bring him back. He's like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this guy pictured me in my ocean blue underwear. Standing in my balcony, glass of wine in my hand, you know? <laughs> Looking into the horizon. I was like, bro, uh, I live on the ground floor. <laughs> I can't do these things. So. Kids are playing outside. <laughs> I go to jail. Some things are second floor and above activities. You know? And also he didn't say uh, blue, he said ocean blue. Huh? Very specific, yeah. Yeah, I saw the ocean recently, it's brown. <laughs> Give me my color. Give ocean brown. See, my real point here is, I feel like underwear should be kept simple. It's just meant to cover that area. Society wants you to do it, wear it. End of story. But nowadays, fashion has gone inside, right? People are wearing printed underwear, designer underwear. 
Guys are buying printed underwear. I can I can identify a guy in a crowd. <laughs> Who has printed underwear on? Some people are sweating already. <laughs> No, no, I won't use my powers today, but I can identify a guy in a crowd, like in the local or something, I can tell from their smile. They have a smile like... <laughs> it's like they're like, all these people, they don't know. <laughs> I have art in my pants. I'm a man of high taste, you see. So close to the gallery, but curtains are closed. Right? <laughs> Visiting hours are later. <laughs> but it's gone too far, man, this underwear thing. I saw this on online in my research for this joke. There's this, uh, they're selling boxer shorts now with quotes on it from the TV show Friends. <laughs> All the famous lines from Friends, they're putting on underwear, dude. Like, oh my God. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? It's a pickup line. They're putting on underwear. If you're already in your underwear, isn't it a bit too late for a pickup line? You can't turn this harassment into a date now. You can't be like, hey, hey, I want to make this fun for you also. Huh? Remember Joey, huh? How you know? Only work for Joey. You guys are a cool crowd, man. You're kind of laughing at this stuff. <laughs> what, else, what more can we want? No, I did this joke the other day and there was a couple in the front. They didn't laugh at all. Until this point where I was done. Where the woman turned to the husband, looked at him and laughed at him. <laughs> I saw it clearly, the laughs went like this, they didn't come like this. I was like, ma'am, why are you laughing now? The joke is over. And she said loudly for the whole room, she's like, oh, because this guy has glow in the dark underwear. <laughs> I missed this product in my research. Glow in the dark, what is happening? Why? Why? Glow in the dark, why? Because when you're at home, there's a power cut, you have nothing to do. Take your pants off, read a book against the light and stuff. Next day, you have to run on the terrace wearing it, to charge it. Man, when I was a kid, me and my friends, we just wanted glow watch. That was our dream. Simple dreams. But now the watch industry has gone down. A bit. The glow industry, like, where do we put it? They buy anything. I would never, man. I would never buy glow in the dark underwear. Because as kids, we used to say that glow watch, it's radioactive, we used to say. <laughs> I don't want to take a chance. I mean, I, I have two wrists. I can take a chance here. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to go to sleep in that and some Chernobyl is happening over here. Go to sleep with one, wake up at two in the morning. I'm not, I'm not ready for that responsibility. I'm barely doing anything with one. <laughs>